So in this video, I wanted to spend a few minutes talking about some new pens from Sharpie. First of all, we have the S-Gel, which is Sharpie's brand new for February 2020 gel pen. It's a retractable gel pen from Sharpie. Pretty cool, and I know people are pretty excited to get their hands on this one. There's also the Sharpie Rollerball pen, and this, I believe, came out in December 2019, and it's a liquid gel rollerball. So kind of like a Univision Elite or something like that. Uh, pretty cool, less exciting I would say than the gel pen, but I figured I would take a look at it as well. Just to get into the uh, sort of packaging, here it is, Sharpie S-Gel, new, no smear technology, always vivid writing, writing black, 0.7 millimeter. It's basically a gel pen. Uh, no real surprises here. It doesn't even say anything about being permanent. It's just that it's a Sharpie and it's a gel and gel makes it vivid. That's kind of how gel ink is. And then it's no smear, quick drying. That's again, fairly common for a gel ink. Contoured grip, see it here, it's a nice grip. We'll talk about the pen in a minute. And then both of the pens are available in fine, medium, and bold. I have them, uh, I believe both in the medium, 0.7 millimeter, which is like a good day-to-day -day writing. On the roller, I bought it in blue instead of black, also 0.7 millimeter. And again, kind of the same thing. Bold lines, vivid writing, it's a Sharpie. And there's really not much to it. They're mostly gonna be sold in bigger, kind of office-friendly packs. So I think four will probably be the smallest, and then you'll typically buy them in boxes of 12. The S-Gel is definitely the more interesting of the two pens. Uh, it's, there's not a lot to it, but it's more interesting of the two. You see it has a nice contour grip. It's a swirl pattern, which like I think looks cool, but doesn't really affect how it feels. And then, but it is uh, contoured with a, a little bit of a waist in the middle. All plastic, so it's chrome plastic, just plastic on the front. Plastic uh, clip that, it's fine. Plastic button on the top. It says Sharpie and S-Gel, and then the size, very prominent here. All the logos and the, uh, I guess not the logo, but the, the fonts in here look like really uh, not that well done. Just a weird font choice. It's kind of big. I don't know. That's really big as well. Looks a little bit blurry. Just doesn't seem to be really nicely handled, but uh, that's really not super important. The pen comes apart. It's actually really difficult to come apart, but it does. Uh, so if you can't get it, you just have to either crank it or you might have to grab it with some uh, pliers or maybe put on some gloves or rubber gloves or something to get a little bit of extra grip and turn it, but it will come apart. And then we see the gel refill. It's like a pretty, pretty standard gel refill. And there's no uh, discernible item number or name on it. It's just kind of, uh, you know, 3479 US 03. Not sure what any of that means. I guess it's preceded by a CK. Again, not sure what that means. And then the size is uh, 0.7 millimeter. So it's not really easy to tell what size it is. And then there's a pretty good size spring on the front. The spring looks like it goes inside the way it would with a Euro refill, but it doesn't actually, it just wraps around the front end. And it comes off, but it's really on there pretty securely. And that's kind of it to it. It's a very simple, very lightweight pen. Click is fine. It's all plastic, but it's, you know, nice tight construction, no problems there. The roller pen is very similar. That kind of uh, not quite matte, not quite gloss black, kind of a satin finish, I guess. Color coordinated, so it's blue on top, but that's the, uh, I, I mean, there's color here, but when it's closed, you really just see that blue and maybe a little bit of peak from here. Really not too much going on with this pen, very simple. Metal clip this time. Clip is very broad and kind of ugly, but uh, it actually functions fine. Just like, to me, it like just looks odd. Pulling the cap off, you could see kind of a standard looking liquid gel rollerball with a feed on the inside. And this, this becomes like a little bit more saturated over time but it doesn't affect performance. And then there's a, it's a conical tip. Some of the pictures online make it look like it has a needle tip, but it is a conical. And this is not, from what I could tell, replaceable, or you can't open this and 
put another cartridge in there or anything like that. I haven't been able to, this uh, gets it open and it looks like it's pretty well sealed. So that's the roller ball and that's the gel. Again, I would just remind you that this is not a capped gel pen. It's Sharpie calls it a liquid roller ball while the S gel is a gel pen. And I'm pretty sure, I, again, I know the S gel is brand new and I'm pretty sure the roller came out in December. So it's rather new as well. So there's the two, they look like a matching pair. Uh, so let's get into some writing. Again, keep in mind, this is the 0.7 millimeter. It's also sold in a 0.5 and the 1.0. They are fairly nice writers. I like the S gel more than I like the roller. It's a quick drying gel pen, similar to uh, like an Enagel or Sarasa or something like that. Probably a little bit drier feeling than those, but writes nicely, dries quickly. No problem on a paper like this one. This is the Baron Fig paper. And again, this is the S gel in a 0.7 millimeter. Nice writer, good flow, no problems. It's not, <clears throat> sorry, it's not permanent or anything like that. It's just a, uh, it's really the Sharpie name brand being applied to a gel pen, which is fine. I don't have a particular problem with that since it's a nice writer, but I don't really fully grasp why Sharpie would go ahead and jump into the gel pen market. It's not like there's no competition out there. As far as the roller ball goes, the, it's really, the cap is on there really firmly. So it's like, you have to really tug it. I could see like knocking over a cup of coffee when doing that. So I guess you gotta be careful. This one has a narrower grip, which I don't really like. But anyway, this is the blue. It's not the nicest blue. I'll try to give everyone a good. It's like a little bit on the gray side, a little bit on the light side. So uh, I will just point out that as far as blue roller balls go, I don't think this one's doing itself any favors. Here's a uh, Pilot G2 blue. A lot darker, more of a, almost like a blue black. Whereas this one is like a grayish blue, maybe like a hint of green. I just, I guess I just don't love the blue. Uh, it's a fine writer. So this is the roller and they call it the roller, not the, but if you buy it, they call it the roller ball generally and this is also 0.7 millimeter it feels kind of dry for 0.7 millimeter which is not that bad but it's fine this one has no problem keeping up no problems doing general writing it just doesn't have any sort of uh, real special feel to it feels like a maybe a little bit more liquid version of the gel but you know that's like maybe i'm just trying to tell a difference between the two because they're so similar. There is really not a discernible difference between the two. It's not too much left to say. The S gel is a pretty okay retractable gel pen that you can get away with uh, for like expensing at the office. You know, this will be in uh, wherever you buy your office pens for and you could probably buy it from your office pen provider and it's a good pen to have. I don't have any particular problems with it. I like using it for note taking and just general writing. It's completely fine. The roller, I like less. I don't really like the cap. I don't really like the clip, uh, but it's an okay writer. The blue, I would not buy the blue. I guess it's not a shock that Sharpie has a nicer black. The, co the company made their name with black pens, so I'm not usually shocked that their blue is a little weak, but. They do have nice blue markers, so maybe uh, I should be surprised. Uh, I don't really like the design of the pen, but it's not, it's not terrible, it's just not for me. Between the two, I would say definitely get the S gel, some more interesting and more fun to use, but uh, I'm having a little bit of trouble justifying these pens just because I don't find them to be particularly interesting offerings. And uh, you know, Sharpie has all this kind of name brand and what do they do with it? I uh, just released a couple of like, you know, fine pens that don't really uh, like are in not really any way remarkable. So I was a little bit disappointed in these overall. 
Uh, if you have any different feedback or notes, please let me know. I know people were saying like, just like really clamoring for these when they were first announced. So maybe I'm missing out on something, but uh, just my take is a huge amount of competition in both of these sizes, uh, both these type of pens. So jumping in the market, I wanna see something special. I'm not sure I got it here. So that's it, Sharpie, SGL, and roller pens. Thanks for watching.